Yo, what's going on, E7 fam? Pat here, back with another edition of Let's Talk About It. And in this one, we're going to visit the topic of the Match History beta launch that just went out last night, alongside of Midnight Gala Lilius and her new side story. This potentially has a very profound impact on the way that we play PvP in Epic 7 going forward. Uh, it has potential Guild War ramifications, but most notably a lot of ramifications for World Arena going forward. And I guess as a player base, how we gear characters going forward. So I want to know at the end of all of this, down in the comments, what your thoughts are on it. So let's talk about the announcement first, so that, that way you can kind of understand what this is in case you don't know it at all. As Epic 7 World Championship 2023 draws to a close, our commitment to enhancing your World Arena experience remains unwavering. To facilitate strategic discussions and provide you with the tools to improve your gameplay, we are thrilled to introduce the Epic 7 Match History Beta. This comprehensive platform allows you to review match records from World Arena battles and conduct in-depth hero analyses. We hope that the wealth of information available on this site will be invaluable to you. Furthermore, we have plans to optimize the platform for mobile use and introduce a hero analysis menu. This menu will offer various data, including win rates for each hero, ban and pick rates, and information on which heroes are weak against others. We have many more functions in the pipeline, and we eagerly await your continued support. So, it is going to be the Epic 7 Match History, which you could find on the website listed here. And I'll show you this here. A couple, I have a couple of tabs already open here, but you can see it is epic7.gg.onstove.com. It is very reminiscent of something like op.gg from League of Legends. Uh, I will show you my profile on here, which uh, will bring up one of my uh, my initial gripes with it. Uh, the win rate here is not exactly correct because I I know my win rate. I have you know proof. I'll put it up on the screen now. It's higher than fifty percent. Uh, but yeah, so this thing basically shows you a detailed match history for the person that you are searching for. Um, and you get to see their win rates and see which characters they do really well with. Again, I don't know if these win rates are accurate because it is a beta. And again, the Valorous season win rate that they show for me is not the one that I have. I've played more games than this. Like this only shows like 500 games or so. Uh, and I clearly have around 700 games played and I have a higher win rate than this. So again, I don't know how accurate it is. But the fact is you can use this website to look up yourself figure out which characters you're doing well with. So for example, like here, Navy Captain Landy and Last Rider Crow, I probably should be drafting these characters more often because I'm winning a higher, more often with these characters compared to my average win rate than not. Whereas like Conqueror Lilius, maybe I should not go as gung-ho on Conqueror Lilius. Maybe uh, even though I, I, it's perceived as OP, I lose more uh, drafts with Conquer than not having Conquer, so it probably means I'm a better player in general against Conquer than with Conquer, so that's just something to consider. But um, there are other things here that you can see, like you can see that I had first pick in this match that was in a preseason that I did last night on stream, and you can see my picks versus my opponent's picks. Um, you can see my builds, for example, uh, and then you can my opponent's stuff. So like I can tell. Uh, like, so it's an injury Alencia, like, as opposed to, like, red playing on, like, a speed Alencia, right? And it's on Full Metal's auto mail, as opposed to, like, Draco Plate uh, or Alencinox's Wrath, which gives me a little bit of information if I were to play against this person in the future. I think one of the big concerns is, like, if I matched up against, like, I don't know, say, like, uh, I don't know, Genocide, for example, because it's just, like, it's a, you know, a popular streamer, right? Like, so if I was paired up against Genocide, I can look and go, like, Oh, uh, Jenna's most win rate hero is Unbound Knight ROL and Navy Captain Landy. So these are the things I should be banning against Jenna, right? Because they're his highest win rate characters. So that's like a big concern that people might have, right? Uh, with this website going forward. Um, will that be a, a, the thing, the case? I don't really know. I don't really think that that will be the case because I think that that can only really be super hyper useful, I feel like, at top level. I don't really think that helps you too much against uh, the regular people that are like from bronze to champion. I don't really think that that does too much. And even in like the emperor and legend rating, like we, the, the pool's so small anyway that we see the same people all the time. So like 
I know, for example, like if I run into like Lucina fanboy, like he plays Bloodblade Corinne a lot. So if I was going to target ban him anyway, I would just ban Bloodblade. So I don't really know how much that helps. I think being able to look up your favorite uh, person, your favorite content creator, your your like favorite high end player, and see how they draft and what they're playing on. I think that is a super useful resource for a lot of players because you can kind of get an idea of like how they structure drafts, like right. So like in this one, I had first pick, I took Conqueror first, and then you saw I took Mitigation plus uh, right here, we took Lionheart. Um, so that's like, a, and like pretty much you can see how I decided to draft here uh, with this uh, actual particular draft. So that's like something you can look up. I think that's a super useful resource, being able to get a hold of maybe like what sets or what uh, artifacts. Overall, I think it is a pretty good thing. I'm looking to see how they do hero analysis because I'm worried it might put me out of a, out of a content creation job because obviously how to play guides is what I do here on this channel. And if they just give you the benchmarks for everything uh, with the correct sets and show you the win rates and how people are playing them, then yeah, that, that might, that might uh, kind of suck for me. But yeah, that's uh, just something to consider. But overall, like just check out the website um look at the different features on it look yourself up see how you're doing um you know your drafts things like that look up other people that you you know in the community that you respect and see how they're playing the game because it's one of those things where it's it's very interesting i never thought we would actually get something like this i don't think it'll be used maliciously like i was saying where like i look look up jenna's information and ban out his stuff i don't know if that'll necessarily be the case but it could right and then having the hero analysis where we can see win rates um and we can see you know how people build it that could potentially homogenize the game like people will see like oh like lionheart's got a 60 percent win rate or something ridiculous and everyone's playing it on destruction golden rose and so everybody goes that build and it just kind of homogenizes the game um maybe that's not gonna how it, it's gonna be but that's something that could happen when you have this kind of information publicly available to everybody um one thing I, I will note, though, is when they put hero analysis up here, right, and they show win rates of characters, they need to be well aware that since we can see their internal data of win rates for characters like Lua, for example, um, if it's pretty overbearing, then the community is probably going to expect them to try to do something. I mean, if you're going to mirror a system that's very akin to how Riot Games does things, then I think that people will come to expect very similar uh, results like if Lua is too good, either you nerf it or you start producing hard counters to the character, um, so on and so forth. So again, let me know what your thoughts are on the website. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Uh, what do you think is the most useful aspect? What do you think it's missing? All of that stuff. Let me know down in the comments below. I might potentially do a follow up uh, on this piece sometime in the future, depending on whether things go super good or super bad with the system. Any all thoughts, like I said, down in the comments below. Love to hear from you. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye now.